it's been a relatively good year for puffins. Uh, the weather has been a little bit of a challenge, very rainy, cold, wet, um, but puffins nesting underground aren't as vulnerable or susceptible to problems that way. Uh, we were concerned coming into the season. The ocean was quite warm during the winter, uh, but puffins have been able to find food and raise pretty healthy chicks this year. Last one we just did. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so great. Nice. 305. Yeah. Nicole, can I do this for you? Yeah. Um, oh, so small. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's a fluff, huh? Yeah. I'll just sit next to you. Yeah, he's being really chill now. This year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of work that started to restore puffins to several islands here in Maine. Uh, and that work was successful, took a long time to achieve success, um, but through perseverance and hard work, uh, puffins were restored to two colonies here in Maine and have colonized others since then. Uh, so uh, it's been amazing uh, an amazing success story uh, that people have worked hard here to produce. Probably like that one I found in the washing machine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pants in the washing machine. Yeah. Yeah. It was bird collective, right? Yeah. yeah. I think their name will be Miso. Oh, oh, oh Miso. Oh, so cool. And then it's what Miso it and Mako. Miso and Mako. Yeah, that is yeah, good. That is good. <laughs> Our populations of puffins here in Maine are stable, um, perhaps even continuing to grow at a small rate. Um, even though climate change is really impacting their ability to raise chicks, uh, that hasn't had any ramifications for the size of the adult population yet. It could in the future, um, and we're certainly concerned and, and paying close attention to the success or rates of success adult puffins have at raising chicks. When we have warming conditions that are over a long period of time, that's several years of low forage prey base for seabirds. When we have conditions where there's a break in that, such as, for example, um, if the conditions are cooler, wetter over the summer, then the prey base for those uh, seabirds is likely to be sort of higher fat content, higher quality, and we would expect a better survival rate for those birds in the next year. Seabirds are long-lived, so that's the good news. If they fail one year, two years, three years, a lot of them live 25, um, 30, 40, 50. Albatrosses, occasionally individuals live longer than 60. So they're living as long as people. That means you can have a number of years that you can fail. And if you're alive the next year, you can try again. The real problem though, is now we're getting a lot of failures in a row. 